it seems strange, but it's like the sun seems brighter, the sky's bluer, the grass greener. Like the world is just a better place today. Oh, I know. I'm not doing Plaster of Paris today. <laughs> Sharon was bugging on me recently that the size seems to fall off. And that's because she doesn't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, not do I. Hey Sharon, this is why it didn't look right. <laughs> you were only seeing these two pieces. Now if we had the uh, bench as a big square, this thing would be jutting way out into your living room. I didn't like that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to angle it across here. So these will be up on, underneath your windows and then this will be the front. So it gives you more room in your living room. But what I need to do now is find the distance between these two points so I can cut the piece of wood that's going to fit in there. All right, going to be cutting the uh, bottom to the uh, piece. So since I can't uh, clamp anything at this angle, I'm going to have to freehand it. Oh boy. And just for that, those of you who never seen a uh, biscuit joiner before, what it does, it puts out, pulls out a cutting blade out of the slot here, right there. And then it just cuts a little half an oval shape. And this is the biscuit. So it just fits right in there, like that. You put glue in there. This is made out of balsa wood, so it swells, and then it traps itself in that slot. And that's what creates your joint and holding power. And because there is a lot of leeway here, it gives you some leeway in maneuvering it to get just the right fit.
Ow. I think this is going to be sufficient for holding it right now because the base actually isn't even glued in it floats in there MDF doesn't really expand or contract because it has no grain it's a pretty stable wood which is why I use it for stuff like that well what I can do is now do my correct measurements it's like 37 and almost 38 inches may as well check and make sure this thing is square Whoa, <laughs> that's even better than I thought. Sharon, I hope your walls are just as square. This is boxes, like right on the fucking money. I'm sorry, I don't know how I did that. I'm gonna let this uh, dry overnight and then I'll attach the front panel to it and then start working on the lid. I had wanted to have it done by tomorrow, but that's not gonna happen probably Sunday. Okay, if you like this edition of, what did Mad City Honk call it? <laughs> this old hearse? <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. That way you can get notified of woodworking projects just like this when they're posted. Okay, thanks for watching. Yep. <laughs>